All right, now I'm gonna take a scrap piece of plywood that I had left over from another project and go ahead and try to cut the, the links that I need for my drawers. I need two pieces that are 20 inches long by seven inches wide. So I'm gonna try to cut those first. All right, I need 20 inch by seven inch. So these are now, they're like 23 inches by seven inches. And then the rest that I needed were five and a half inches wide. I need four that are 15 and a half by five and a half and four that are 20 by five and a half. So I've got four pieces, 45 inches. So that'll work fine, that's gonna be perfect. I think I'm ready to call it for today. I've got my sides cut, my front faces cut, um, the bottoms of the drawers cut, those are the drawer pulls set in there, and there's the drawer slides. So tomorrow, all I'll have to do is come down, cut some dados, get everything all glued up, and it'll be done. So that won't take long at all. And I'll be able to put the drawers in the bottom. There's gonna be one 20 inch drawer on this end, one 20 inch drawer on this end. So I'll be able to pull out and have um, storage for all my sanding discs or um, scroll saw blades or whatever else I put on there. So I think it's going to turn out really nice For the drawers, I'll be taking the 20 inch lengths which are the long sides of my drawers And I'm going to cut a half inch wide rabbit in the end of each one so that I'll be able to glue up and seat up the end, pe end pieces Now I'll be cutting a dado down the side of each of the side panels this will allow for the bottom of the drawer to sit inside the dado and be supported by the actual wood. Now I'll go ahead and glue this drawer together. After two quick glue ups and a quick sanding with the orbital sander, I ran over all the edges and corners with some 220 grit in the orbital sander. That just takes off any of those splintered edges that you get with uh, plywood sometimes, so I won't have to worry about reaching and getting splinter when I reach into the drawer. Now what I'm going to do is go ahead and mount the um, drawer slides on either side. What I'm going to use is 20 inch, 100 pound rated drawer slides. And I think those will be perfect for this application. The wheels just got delivered and they came with all the mounting hardware that you need and came with the washer and stuff So I'm going to put them on here when I ordered these I thought that they would line up perfectly with the 2x4 here turns out they're just like a 16th of an inch bigger maybe Maybe an eighth. An eight, I don't know Anyway, um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pre-drill these holes obviously I mean these are these are huge so I'm going to pre-drill these holes and I'm going to put them at a pretty significant angle going in there There's plenty of room plenty of clearance. I mean for this wheel to still spin without having to worry about the, the head sticking up any there. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to attach it in at an angle.
Okay, for the drawer front, I went ahead and I just marked on the back where the actual drawer is going to be. I put glue on there and spread it with the brush. Now I'm just going to put it on there, make sure my spacing is right. I'm evening it up with the bottom of the drawers here. And that leaves just a small gap at the top. Hold it in place. Get it with these clamps here. Try that again. I'll let it slip a little bit. All right. Okay, that is even on the bottom. Feels good, still on the sides. So now what I'm going to do is make a mark three and a quarter inches down here. That's just about the middle. Mark across there like that. Now I'll get my handle. And I should have eight and a quarter inches on either side when this is centered. There's eight and a quarter. Hey, Dad. <laughs> I've got a helper in here right now. Sweetie, can you go sit down for Daddy? Yeah. Thank you, baby. <laughs> eight and a quarter, and eight and a quarter. So I know where this handle needs to be. Now I'll put a vertical line in the center here, right by my horizontal. Now I know where I need to drill my holes. Alright, I'll center up where those lines would intersect and go ahead and put through. Now I have two layers of plywood and this is a one inch screw. Two layers of half inch plywood, one inch screw. You can see the problem there. So what I've got here is a small Forstner bit that is just the right size to accommodate the head of that screw. So I'll come back to the inside here and I don't need to go all the way through the first layer just a little into it, about half, half the distance of that Forstner bit. Alright, with that done I'm ready to put my screws in. But, I've got this line on here. I don't like that line. I'm going to take the sander to it and clean off that line. Sure there are cleaner ways to do this. This isn't too bad, I don't think. Going over those holes on the inside and out really dresses those holes and makes them look nice. Alright, now with my screws coming through the front, I'm ready to attach my handle. Alright, that handle's good. Just for kicks and giggles, I'm going to put another clamp here at the very bottom. Since that is wet glue in there, let that dry for a little while. Alright guys, this is another one done here in the shop. This will be uh, the new home for my scroll saw, one of my spindle sanders, and I'm thinking about getting a belt sander, disc sander combo. I don't have one of those, and I think I could really use it for several projects. So I think I'm going to mount those three items to the top of this and then probably keep my planer and a few other items on the bottom shelf. This has been a really quick project, maybe three or four hours to really knock it out. And I think it's going to be really useful here in the shop. These drawers are nice and deep, super useful. I just, I'm really excited to have this project done and get those tools on here and not on my workbench and in the way all the time. So if you're interested in doing a project like this, hopefully this has been informative enough that you can do something like this on your own. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, and if you haven't subscribed already, please do. This channel is really growing, and I appreciate those of you that have subscribed already. There's more videos coming. I've got a lot of stuff in the works right now. So uh, come along for the ride. Let's see how it goes. All right, until next time, take care, and God bless.